Now for our final object in the mirror event. As you know, we, uh, we do something at these conferences called objects in the mirror are closer than they appear to give you a sense of new technologies coming into the marketplace now that are going to make a difference much more quickly than you believe. So for our final object in the mirror event of this conference, this demo comes from iView. iView is a company that helps brands customize their TV commercials for the digital medium. Uh, this is very relevant to the last comment that Mark Spiker from L'Oreal made. They customize their TV commercials for the digital medium by delivering local, real-time, personal messages to each and every viewer, making video ads more relevant and effective. Here to talk about that is the co-founder and vice president of business development for iView, Tal Riesenfeld. Uh, before coming to iView, Tal was an online sales operations manager at YouTube. And before that, served as strategic marketing product manager at Hewlett Packard. Please join me in welcoming to the stage from iView, Tal Riesenfeld. Good luck. Thanks, Tal. Hi, everybody, um, and thank you for joining this session. Um, my name is Tal. I'm one of the founders of iView, and I will be talking about uh, video personalization. It's actually the first time we're presenting on stage, so I'm guessing that most of you do not know about the company or that this technology exists. So as a bit of background, uh, we've been developing this technology for the last three and a half years. Just launched this, this January 2011. Um, have a headquarters in New York, big, big development center in Israel. So this is another uh, Israel video company. Uh, we've run campaigns with Schwinn, Johnson & Johnson, Bed Bath & Beyond, approximately 10 campaigns already running. Uh, we're funded by Eric Schmidt, uh, Lightspeed uh, Gem uh, Gemini, and uh, Lightspeed. So the problem we're solving is that brand advertisers today cannot reach their target audience with a personalized message. Now, I'm, I'm starting with TV because we're going to go to TV. But even in online, when you look at online video where this makes so much sense, um, anybody who does online video today will tell you that still today, the, the industry works by taking a TV ad, cutting it to 30, 15 seconds, and pushing it online. And it's not personalized for the user, and it's not using all of the uh, technology and abilities and data we have online. So what we do, um, we have a, a platform, a technology platform, that allows us to customize TV ads to the digital medium by adding uh, real-time local messages into the ads. And one of the key differentiators is broadcast quality. And the reason why we believe that we're going to be in your living room in the next two years is because of this broadcast quality um, and, and the kind of impact that this has on video. So I'll show you a few samples. Our key verticals for the next few years are retail, travel, automotive, entertainment, quick service res uh, restaurants, and telecom. And each sample, I'll show you kind of a, a different, um, different idea of what you can do with this sort of technology. So my first example is for Lowe's. And based on the weather outside, you will see two different ads. So on the left will be an ad for a sunny area. On the right, an ad for a uh, rainy area. Well, you see, first of all, the look and feel of the ad changes a bit. But more interestingly, we push different products when it's sunny and different products when it's rainy, which is you know, what, what at the end of the day the brands want to do. And we show you uh, the local store nearest to you. Here at Lowe's, we offer advice and products perfect for today's weather. Click here to check out these great products at today's special low prices. You can find these products and more currently in stock right here at your local Lowe's. Lowe's, let's build something together. So based on the current weather outside, we're pushing different products and showing you the local store. The next example is uh, from travel, and travel is going to be a big vertical for us. And what I'm showing you here, I'm showing you the original ad on the left versus an ad from New York and an ad from Chicago. Now, at the end of the day, we, don't, we do not create the ads. The TV ads, there's people who do that, and, you know, and that, that's a whole industry. But we do add, based on your location, on the real-time prices on the site, that sort of information, that sort of uh, personalization into the video. So the first 20 seconds are, are similar, but notice what happens at the end. I need to get out of here. I need to, need to, need to, need to. 
Travelocity is your cure for cabin fever. Catch a flight from your location to any one of the following destinations for these real-time updated last-minute offers. If you find a lower flight rate online, we will match it right up until the day before check-in. Travelocity, you will never roam alone. So these are things that can be done in display, but now we can do them in video and in, in a lean back experience. So I'd not expect anybody to interact with the ad, but even if, if I'm in New York and I just receive an ad from Travelocity, which tells me about flights from New York, that adds value. And I'll show you how we prove that. Um, next, vertical automotive, and we think this is going to be a huge vertical. It's all about your local dealer and the local prices and the local shows. And this is kind of a, a, a concept, mock, concept mock for this one. We know life takes you through many journeys, and we know that the small details make those journeys memorable. That's why we at your local Ford dealer always have the right car in stock for you. So whether you're looking for a car to visit familiar locations you know and love, or a car that gives you the liberty to venture to new places, that car is Ford. Ford. Drive one. The next sample is a quick service restaurant, and I want you to look at this not, not um, at the brand itself, but for any product which is a low consideration product. So I'm watching my mobile, there's an ad, you know, I'm hungry, what time it is, where's the local store, and that's the kind of things we can now offer in video. Okay, the last sample I'm going to show um, is an entertainment demo. And what I want you to focus here, I, I talked about broadcast quality. And at the end of the day, we do want to get into the living room uh, with Connect TV. And we believe that this is a technology that will enable that sort of personalization. You will see towards the end of the ad, we push in um, the local theater and countdown until premiere um, based on you know, where you are in time of day. But notice, just look at one of the ads and not at both. Look, notice how seamless this is. Um, and that's one of the reasons why you know, it took us so long to develop this technology. It's all about how do you make that experience a, a video experience uh, versus something else. Okay, so one of the questions is what is dynamic, what is changing? Basically, this is a video technology, so everything is changing. It's the video, it's the audio, it's the text, it's the buttons, it's the click-through rates. This is a video technology which enables to create endless amounts of versions um, and change anything inside the video to personalize the ad for the viewer. I'm not gonna deep dive into the technology, um, but kind of high level how it works, we start with a TV ad, an existing creative, we then connect to um, any user data. So you know, if, it's, if it's IP, we can find the geolocation and the weather outside and time of day. We connect to the website to collect real-time prices and products, anything that's online, any data out there. Um, and uh, we connect to the website of the advertiser. So, and you think about this, all these websites that have a store locator or have different um, deals based on zip code. A lot of information is out there and we can leverage any third-party data for um, knowing if it's you know, male, female, or whatever demographics. So the technology grabs all these three things and basically creates um, different uh, versions for different audiences. The last sample I want to show you, um, and I want to focus about around measurements, because a lot of the people here talking about is how do you measure online video? How do you measure that it's better? And I think one of the biggest um, problems we have by driving the kind of TV budget we hope to bring online is, is all around the measurement and why is this more effective. So this is actually a, a, a real campaign we're running right now um, with Schwinn. Um, it's, it's a basic campaign. You'll see at the end we add the local store. We're running 6,000 different videos. And you know, for anybody from the video industry, just saying 6,000 different videos was not possible uh, a few months ago. 
Um, and it took us four days to set up the campaign. So first of all, I'll show you the campaign. Visit us here today and enjoy great prices on Schwinn bikes during Schwinn's May Bike Month. So this was running throughout May, and one of the things that you know we as a company aspire to do is we need to prove that this is actually better. So there's two sorts of measurements. The first of all, and this is basic for video, so click-through rates, completion rates, all the usual stuff, we provide this by version. So for each one of the store versions, you get that information. Uh, but we feel that for video, that's not the right uh, metric. And kind of what we're doing today is our technology allows us to show 5% of the people the original TV ad and 95% of the, of the other viewers the personalized ad. And we add questionnaires either on the video or on a companion banner where they feel, uh, feel how likely are you to buy the product or how relevant the ad was for you. So we're actually able to measure in real time for a specific campaign how much personalization was better than just the original TV ad. And we believe that this is going to be one of the tools that uh, will impact branders to shift more, um, more of these budgets online. Finally, uh, we believe and our vision is uh, personalized video everywhere. At the end of the day, we want to be uh, in the living room through Connect TV on the mobile and online video. We started this year with online video. Uh, we've integrated with all the networks and publishers. So basically, this can run anywhere. Um, we're supporting all the ad technologies. And you know, part of the reason why this is, I don't want to get too technical, this is vast, it's not vPaid, so it can run through basically all of the technologies. And, and the last slide, um, you know, all of us in the online video industry, we're, we're looking at the TV budgets, and we're trying to shift TV bu budgets online. And at the end of the day, we believe that this is a good reason to shift TV budgets online, because until today, the main pitch was your audience is not just on TV, they're also online. But now we can actually say that with online, you can do smarter things and do better ads and actually measure and show that this works better. Um, so that's what iView does. And um, you can contact us if you want more information. Thank you.